First, you will need an oscilloscope and a function generator with a sweep function. Connect the oscilloscope to the output of the IF filter and the function generator set at zero output to the input of the IF filter. I've already done that. The IF filter being used here is a 10.7 MHz one, so I will enter a star frequency of 10.675 MHz and a stop frequency of 10.725 MHz and a continuous sweep cycle, linear sweep cycle of uh, 10 milliseconds and the level to 0.25 volts peak to peak and the oscilloscope to 20 millivolts a division reducing it on the oscilloscope if you do not get enough waveform on it warning too much power on the IF filter can damage it especially ones which are above 100 megahertz starting continuous sweep with these set the source scope to um, uh, to one millisecond a division which corresponds to 10 milliseconds per sweep for a stable waveform Connect the sweep triggering output to the trigger input of, of your oscilloscope, I've already done that, and set it to external triggering mode according to the polarity of the sweep trigger output on your function generator. This is a negative output, reducing the volts of division, sending, centering the waveform vertically, With these settings, each division corresponds to 5 kHz bandwidth. This, this filter appears to be uh, to have a round uh, 15 kHz bandwidth. I've already adjusted the centering controls. Any significant response roll-off, as indicated by the waveform, can indicate the limits of the IF filter under test, the bandwidth. Did you like this video? Please be sure to rate it with five stars if possible. This shows the genius within and be sure to look out for other videos like this for me in the future.